Veterinarian Jim Orvik is here to take your pet questions. It's a great day to call in if you have a question because we have three lines open at 270-9933. Nice to see you, Jim. Oh, it's good to be here. Let's go ahead. We'll get right to the phones. We'll start with Bill in Madison. Hi, Bill. What's your question? Hi. Um, we have a 20-year-old uh, female cat. Oh, wow. Um, and she has, um, she, uh, has had uh, renal failure for the last few years, and uh, she gets fluids uh, every day. In addition, she gets some potassium um, uh, and something to bind the phosphorus in her food. Um, but one thing we've been running into is uh, constipation. When she becomes constipated, um, uh, she doesn't want to eat, and so we've, we've used Miralax. We've used something called fructulose, which we're using right now, and I'm just wondering if the uh, doctor had any uh, insights into that or any other suggestions. Yes, several. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, the constipation in older cats is fairly common, and uh, one thing... Um, that I used to use in those cats was uh, it's a drug that's used for glaucoma in people. Really? Pilocarpine. And uh, you put a couple drops on the food and it increases the motility of the intestine. Oh, how interesting. So you just do that every day and that's the simplest way. There are some other oral drugs too that can be used that are similar that uh, since my day until now, they've improved things, and there are, are several other good drugs that do that same thing. So that's one thing, and then there are some other laxative things that help. But uh, rectal immotility is a problem, and in, in even in younger cats, and uh, the extreme, I've removed rectums and mm -hmm. sewed the small intestine to the mm -hmm. bottom end, and they do okay too, but 20 years old, yeah, decision. I was just going to say, 20 years old, you're doing something right. <laughs> Thank you for calling today. Let's go to Lori in Stoughton. Hi, Lori, what's your question? Hi there. I was wondering, as a dog owner, is a Zika virus something I need to worry about? Oh, good question. The uh, Zika virus from yeah, mosquitoes. Yes, I, we were in South America and recently, and uh, that was the big talk, every airport. Anyhow, uh, I don't know that it's any problem in dogs, and... Even in humans, it's, it's not a uh, serious disease except for the fact that it causes the birth defects, mm -hmm. from what I understand. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like a flu bug. So I wouldn't worry about dogs and, and that virus. Oh, you wouldn't? Oh, that's good. That's yeah, reassuring. There's, there's new flu viruses and things of dogs themselves, and there's vaccines for that. But I have not heard any uh, word on Zika in dogs. Okay, oh, that's very reassuring to hear. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much for calling today. If you're on the line, stay on the line. Jim, can you go into the newsroom? Do you have time yes. to do that? Oh, yeah. Okay, sure. wonderful, because I think we have three people still waiting well, to talk to you. And hold Jim on. Will talk, hang on, Jim will talk to you in the newsroom. Great to see you. Good Thanks for here. coming. We'll see you next Thanks. time.